The Celtic RDBC. The RDB in general is both strange and innovative. Short stroke piston, downward ejecting. It can be tempting as a featureless option for those in a banned state. Clearly superior to an SKS or Mini 14 in almost every way. I still see this screw-covered, piston-driven nightmare as, well, inferior to the standard AR, even a compliant option, such as another. I also find that it balances a little bit better than a lot of other bullpups I've used. Being fully ambidextrous is certainly an advantage over other bullpups. However, due to its use of an adjustable gas piston, the first time we brought it out, it had gassing issues, resulting in a triple feed. This time, it seems to be relatively reliable, except for one dud. Clearly, a little bit of trial and error is necessary after purchase. As with any other bulb up, reloads are the main complaint, and they do take some getting used to. But to make up for that, the trigger is very nice. Once you do get used to them, they're about as fast as a conventional design. Plus that HK slap. God help me. Getting used to it with the Type 56 rig took a while. This steel magazine gave us a lot of trouble repeatedly during filming. We did not try P mags or aluminum, but I'd imagine they would also do better. Yeah. Okay. Is it dot on? Yeah. Okay. Here we try out some 3D printed stripper clips feeding into the magazine. And it's a success. The 16-inch Survival and 20-inch Hunter are both very lightweight for their size, as well as the rest of the RDB family, which include pistol grips. Let's check out a disassembly. Done in record time. No Caltech product is complete without a questionable ad campaign.